78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe, turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. And if you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. All right, just to clear up some of the nonsense that's being spread online, Ryan Garcia has not been cleared of any wrongdoing when it comes to taking banned substances. <clears throat> What's happening here is there's a lot of channels out on YouTube that bet money on Ryan Garcia, have an invested interest in Ryan Garcia, uh, maintaining his, his W so that they won't look foolish or have to return any money to people. So they're invested in Ryan coming out looking good and smelling like roses. However, the truth of the matter is this, and this is what I've been trying to tell y'all the whole time. Ryan Garcia openly admitted to, and you all saw him, smoking marijuana throughout his entire camp. Not once has this man tested positive for it. Why is that? Marijuana also can be used as a masking agent for hormones, taking PEDs. This is common knowledge among athletes and cheats. <laughs> All right, if you want, let's just keep it real. Among cheaters, this is a common knowledge, right? And this, this is a little bit of research away. Everybody can find this. So when people ask the silly question as to, well, why would Ryan pass all his tests and then all of a sudden the day before he fails? It doesn't make sense. It makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense if you know what to look for. You understand? Everything is not always what it seems. Ryan Garcia sold you guys a dream, uh, uh, an illusion, three car Molly. Okay. The whole time, Ryan Garcia, in my opinion, allegedly was taking performance enhancement drugs. So now he covered that by smoking weed. He admits it himself. I mean, even if y'all don't want to admit that the guy was taking performance enhancement drugs, the man is clearly smoking weed and didn't test positive for it. Why is that? Can anybody answer that question? Why? Because not only, this is beautiful, not only was Ryan using marijuana to mask the PEDs in his system, but he also used the product to mask the marijuana. Beautiful, beautiful. And he was so shocked that he was passing these tests. Go back and look at those old interviews from about a month ago. Ryan's telling anybody, hey, they say I'm clean. According to my body test, they say I'm clean, so hey. And who said, who talks like that if you're really clean? The man was surprised that he was, he was, Ryan was expecting to get caught, fight get called off, all that kind of stuff. And when he saw that he was coming back clean, oh, he went full throttle. Full throttle. So that answers your question as to why Ryan Garcia tested clean or negative for PEDs this whole time. And then out of nowhere, on the, the day before the fight, they catch him. Okay? So, that's why. Because he's using a masking agent. Ryan is not the first person to try this. It won't be the last. There are holes in the testing system that they have to correct. Um, as you can see, the the chick from the New York State Athletic Commission has just resigned <laughs> in the middle of Ryan Garcia's investigation. Now all of a sudden she needs to resign. Uh, you know, blah blah blah, whatever. There's some shenanigans going on, fam. There's some shadies going on. All right? Some shit is going on. This kid was on camera smoking weed. His homeboy smoking weed. He in the club, popping pills, drinking, doing whatever he wanted to do. Ain't tested for nothing. And y'all act like this is normal behavior. 
Y'all act like this is a tour. Hey, who's the big deal? You're just a sore loser. You guys gotta hold the L. So listen, even with this whole Nandrolone thing, but them said that Nandrolone, his first two tests, first two times they checked for it, it was a small amount of Nandrolone in his system. They couldn't figure out where it was coming from, whether it was natural or synthetic. They tested for a third time. Not his B sample, we're talking about still the A sample. They tested his A sample for the third time and then the third time they tested, they couldn't find an androlone, right? So now people are using that to say, oh, he's been cleared. Ryan's been cleared. It's ridiculous. He still has to have his B samples tested. His B samples will be tested on May 22nd. They should have been tested on May 12th, but Ryan asked for, uh, for those to be postponed. Ryan's team asked for that to be postponed to the 22nd. They're trying to stretch this thing out. So now on the 22nd, when they test it, they're going to find Osterine in his system. And then the excuse from the Ryan Garcia defenders, which they probably try to get ahead of this, and they probably try to, you know, start talking about this now. Oh, he only had a little bit of his system. It was a minimal amount. This Every time somebody get popped taking Osterine, the same excuse is used from every drug cheat. Oh, I only had trace amounts in my system. That it was so small, it couldn't give you any performance enhancement benefits. How do you know that? For one. For two, if Ryan is smoking weed, you don't know how much he was taking. All you know is what showed up in the test. He could have took a hundred times that amount, but the marijuana was blocking it. You don't know that. You don't know. So you got to explain to me how Keyshawn Davis, this young brother, smokes some weed and gets his victory taken away from him for smoking weed. Ryan is out here telling you, bragging he's smoking weed. Ain't nothing happened to him. As a matter of fact, he got fools on the internet running around defending him. Cats hit me up. Hey, man, you see Jamel Charlo got into a DUI? You going to do a video? No, absolutely not. As long as this type of mess is going on, I ain't got nothing else to say about none of these brothers. No, no. The double standard is sickening to me. Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. And as I said before, if this was Devin Haney, roles were reverse. Devin Haney had just beaten Ryan Garcia. Then two weeks later, test results come back that he popped dirty. Would these same people that's running, these same channels, would they be running around here defending Devin Haney? Absolutely not. There's an agenda here at play. But remember, I'm the one who told you Ryan was going to pop dirty in the first place. I told you before the fight, I thought he was going to pop dirty. Don't nobody come out smoking weed, drinking, popping pills, telling you that's what they're doing and, and, they, and they clean? No. Too many people were partying with him to verify that he was actually doing these things. Because you could have said, well, no, maybe he just pretending to smoke weed, but it's really, it's really just a cigar or something. He just, he, he, he capping. Uh-uh. Too many people were vouching that, he, man, he really is smoking weed. This guy don't care. So why wasn't he popping dirty? Why did the New York State Athletic Commission not catch him? Huh? Why did this lady resign all of a sudden? Did she take a little payola? Did she got, get caught taking a little payola? Regardless, <clears throat> it's going to come out. Truth going to come out, though. 22nd of May, you know, if B samples get tested, I don't know if we're going to have to wait <laughs> three, four more days to get the results. I don't know. But I got a feeling this thing going to stretch out for a while. Because when Ryan tests positive again later on this month on these B samples, they're going to try to push the narrative that he just had a little bit in the system. The problem with that theory is this. 
okay? If your fingerprints are found at a murder scene, you have to explain why they were there. You can't say, well, it doesn't matter. I mean, I didn't do it. I mean, I didn't do it, you know, just, it was only a partial print anyway. You can't say that. That don't work, that don't hold up in court. If, if just one drop of your blood is found at the scene of a crime, you can't say, well, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't even an ounce of my blood, it was just a drop. No, you have to, the burden of proof is on you. Ryan Garcia has to prove that he did nothing wrong, that he was set up or whatever his conspiracy theory is. Now, Ryan, um, first initially accused, was said that he was told that his positive test came back from, from, from taking the ashwagandha part of it. So the only thing I've been taking is this ashwagandha. First of all, Ryan is a young man. He don't need that stuff. Why would he even need ashwagandha? Why? I mean, you're a young man. What would you need that for? What would you need that for? You're a healthy young man, full of testosterone. Why would your testosterone be off? Why would your t natural testosterone not be at its, at its peak? You're in your athletic prime. Unless, of course, you've been dabbling with things you shouldn't be dabbling with, and now all of a sudden your, your natural production is shut down. So now you're trying to take other things. See, these are all the questions that the experts are going to be asking him at the hearings. And if he go in there not taking this stuff serious, laughing and giggling like he's been doing online, he's going to get banked. They're going to hit him with a two-year suspension. You know what I'm saying? That's what's going to end up happening. See? He blamed on Ashwagandha. Ashwagandha people came out and said, psych, you lied. He immediately took, took, the, took, that, he took that back and said he was going to sue Vada for setting him up. He said, he said the Haney's and Victor Conte and Snack and Vada set him up. The problem with that is Victor Conte hasn't worked with, with uh, Vada in 10 years. But people don't know that. Right? So, then he says that it's because he met with Donald Trump that the, the elites want to take him down. You know, they want to destroy him because he's been, you know, kicking it with Trump. Brilliant strategy by Ryan Garcia, I must say. He tapped into the conspiracy theorist community before fighting Devin Haney because he knew he was going to cheat and he knew that the conspiracy theorist community would have his back. He playing this out to perfection, honestly. You know, I hate to give him credit for anything, but that was kind of brilliant, kind of, in, in, in an evil way. It was brilliant. You understand? But we'll see what happens here. Ryan Garcia is a cheater, in my opinion. Um, he did everything. He did all this stuff. Like you got look, y'all. You have to explain to me how does Keyshawn Davis pop dirty for weed? but not Ryan Garcia. And he, Ryan Garcia's on camera doing interviews, laughing at the drug testing companies, laughing at the commission, saying that he smoked weed and didn't get caught. So if he's laughing at you, explain to me why he didn't get caught. Why did this lady just resign? Coincidence? Fine. Y'all let me know what y'all think. 78 Sports TV, salute to the mighty. LDBC, my father here though, deuces.